Okay, so last time I showed off my Lucho, it probably didn't look like this. Now, some people might not be able to tell any difference between it because, well, I'm just not showing what's different about it. But if, especially if we go to the cockpit of it, you can definitely see there's some new controls. So, here we have a speedometer now. Right now it's just showing the average speed because the bike is stationary. But the odometer put 39 miles on it. Temperature and time, if you want to see other things, just hit the secondary mode. The highest speed that I've gone is 34.1 miles per hour. Uh, distance apparently 40, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the difference between distance and the odometer, but okay. Uh, calorie counter, because why not, man? And RTM, whatever RTM is. <laughs> not really sure what RTM is. I don't know everything about the speedometer. But it's not even just a speedometer here, it's also a bike light, so that's what this power button here is for. So here, people have told me this bike light looks like a camera. Kind of does. But it's normal headlight, fog lights, headlight with the fog lights, high beamed, and then flashing. It also has a warning light on the side. That's also on both sides. See the red illumination and everything else. And then off. And on top of that, this little thing here is a bike horn. <laughs> it's so cool. Now, the back, we have this. This is my new tail light. Just got this today. We hold that down, we can turn it on. And the controls for that are right here. So we have right turn signal, left turn signal. Hazards, so we have hazard lights apparently. And we have a secondary edition of hazards, because why not? And I'm gonna turn that off. And also we have lasers that come on the sides from this tail light. So I'm calling these an underglow for right now, but what they're supposed to do is basically be like a safety line. So like don't enter this line. And if you want the lines to flash, then you can hit the button again and they'll start flashing on the ground. And then just shut them off. And then shut off the light, because I'm gonna go take this thing in the house and charge it. But, yeah. So, if you guys are wondering how the speedometer works on that three spoke rim, because three spoke rims aren't exactly the easiest things to mount speedometers on. Here's where the sensor is. I have the sensor set up on there. And here's the magnet that spins around, all around and around and around like that. And that will keep being um, sensed by the sensor. Um, this is just zip tied on here. We have two holes that are there and the zip ties are going through them. And it's just zip tied onto the spoke. So if you guys wanna know how to put a speedometer on a three spoke rim, there you go. Just zip tie the magnet to your spoke and make sure it's lined up with the speedometer like sensor here. If I actually were to spin the wheel around, I know my fingers cover the camera, but to spin the wheel around, because these are similar to see they're a little big, but you can see the magnet goes right in front of that. And I actually do get some speedometer readings. Right now it's going like one mile an hour. I picked this up, but no. If you guys are wondering, by the way, what this top button on the horn does, because this is the actual sound button, this will just switch the sound of the horn. So, that's what that does. But yeah, I got nothing else on this bike. This is my bike 2.0. What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comment section. See you guys next time.